thank you very much, Chairperson. Today, in the end of my short speech from Kobe University, Japan. Today, I will talk about the information that I don't really use in the New South Wales country. Most of which we have developed and it's in one of the key properties of that in the world. And this is today I'd like. Uh, I'd like to introduce the new soft monitoring process and then I'll show the results of characterizing microstructure sub point of view and, and uh, results of the data. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the background of this study. The titanium alloy and the wide leaves for various uh, components includes titanium alloy shows high chromatome resistance and high specific strength. However, I can always show poor oil resistance, so we can basically improve it of titanium oil by surface modification process. In particular, a knife wiring has been applied in various fields of engineering. And then a knife wiring from the knife layer with high firmness, uh, the surface compound layer uh, on the top surface, and the fusion layer beneath it. So the uh, knife body can improve the well resistance of titanium alloys due to formation of the knife body. However, a uh, conventional knife body process should be performed for longer processing time with a uh, form of knife layer. So a uh, new soft modification process has been proposed to form a knife layer in short time. Uh, in our previous studies, we have developed a surface treatment system that combined uh, high frequency induction heating system with a high power cleaning process, enabling the control of the process atmosphere. Uh, we are calling this treatment system uh, AIH FPP treatment system. Uh, this is uh, the specimen is set inside the heating coil beneath a uh, pinning nozzle inside the vacuum chamber. So the AIH APD treatment can form an elemental diffusion layer and metal substrate with a short time because a substrate can be heated to high temperature without oxidation to, uh, due to the control of the process, uh, process atmosphere. In addition, uh, we have uh, proposed a rapid nitride, which is a combination of the AIH APD treatment and nitrogen gas flow that is for commercial repacking. Treatment time in just 180 seconds. So it is positive that, that this treatment uh, would, would increase the salt spurs of titanium oil. So uh, the purpose of this study is to capture the salt radio from the uh, 6 of titanium alloy, treated with AIG treatment and nitrogen gas flow in a nitrogen control atmosphere, and to examine uh, their fatigue properties. First, I will show the results of character and microstructure. The material used in this study was a 6 small titanium alloy with chemical condition and the uh, mechanical properties uh, as shown here. And uh, this material has a uh, of phase and uh, the The was uh, the uh, material was machined into the space then uh, 70 micron meter in diameter and five millimeter in after machining, the specimen was polished uh, with many papers and then we are finished using the side of two suspension. A schematic illustration of the AIH treatment system as shown in this slide. The polished specimen is set inside the heating coil and the pressure uh, inside the vacuum chamber was reduced to less than 130 pascal by means of the vacuum pump. And then the atmosphere inside the vacuum chamber uh, was replaced by sublime nitrogen gas through the PE nozzle. And uh, when our oxygen analyzer indicated 10 ppm, the nitrogen gas was blown on the specimen surface and uh, the specimen was heated simultaneously. AIHTP treatment was performed at 1132 Kelvin for 180 seconds. This point is sample is called a nitrogen chips. So I will show you the results of the hardness distribution. Uh, this it shows the distribution of needle at the cross-section depths 
And in this study, there are 20, uh, specimens within uh, in the atoms, atom atom sphere uh, at the same heating condition. And nitrogen three were also prepared for comparison. You can see that uh, alpha C show uh, almost the same hardness as the unfruity specimen. In contrast, the AIH between the fruity and nitrogen atmosphere can increase the soft hardness of 6 of titanium. And the uh, uh, hardware layer on the uh, nitrogen series was about 90 micrometer, including thickness of surface component. To examine their, uh, examine their microstructure, X-ray uh, analysis was performed. And this figure shows the X-ray patterns for the unfruity specimen and the AIH activity of this specimen. The uh, unfruity specimen and iron series exhibit the only different peaks due to the uh, base material, alpha phase, and beta phase. On the other hand, the X-ray peaks of PIM and titanium network ceramics on the nitrogen series, uh, nitrogen series was observed. And uh, you can see that uh, gold, uh, gold colored area was clearly observed on the nitrogen sheet due to the formation of uh, titanium nitrogen. Uh, so these results think that the uh, AIH chemical treatment in nitrogen atom sphere can form a nitrogen layer on 6 of titanium or within a day or relatively short time, 180 seconds. Next, uh, I will show the results of 4.8 funding tests for the uh, AIH FPV treatment specimen. The treatment specimen was massing into the uh, specimen with uh, 3 mm in base, and the uh, uh, river side on the, of the treatment surface was uh, polished to 1 mm in thickness, and the side of the specimen was polished uh, to remove the uh, electro discharge machine wheel. Uh, this is the uh, uh, specimen configuration for fatty tests. Oh. Uh, in this study, uh, 4 point tests are performed at stress ratio of 0.1 at the frequency of 10 Hz in air at room temperature. So I will show the results of fatty tests. Uh, in this figure, the vertical axis represents the amplitude and the uh, horizontal axis represents the number of cycles in the figure. You can see that the uh, limit of the specimen is treated with AIHPP treatment in nitrogen atmosphere was much lower than that of untreated specimen. Uh, this is uh, possible that the surface compound radio predicts the treatment and such by them. Uh, in our previous study, the uh, fatigue blood was uh, initiated suddenly with a relative uh, blood size on the conventional nitrogen surface. So, to the effect of surface compound layer of the fatigue properties, the first specimen after AIH treatment was also prepared. So, uh, this first uh, specimen does not have a surface compound layer. Uh, you can see that the fatigue limit uh, increased by removing the compound, surface compound layer. So, uh, these results uh, mean that. Nitrogen machines with uh, surface compound layer show low fatigue limit due to the formation of compound layer. Therefore, the fatigue limit of the atom species with a low compound layer was higher than that of nitrogen species with, with surface compound layer. However, atom species exhibit a low fatigue limit compared to atom species. Levels less compound layer was not formed. So, uh, to clarify the brief for this, the microstructure was observed. This figure shows the cross section of the micrograph of the unfreeze specimen and the almost specimen. In the case of the unfreeze specimen, a fine microstructure was observed. In contrast, uh, a coarse ascular microstructure was observed on the almost series. And from IP map for the almost series, a large uh, upper phase was observed. So, uh, rain crossing occurred during the AIH HTTP treatment from one phase to Kelvin, resulting in decrease of the limit of the animal. So, based on these results of AIH treatment and nitrogen uh, atmosphere, uh, reduced the shocking 
six or a tiger for due to its com uh, formation compound layer and rain coating. So if preventing the rain coating by between <coughs> the upper lower temperatures, uh, AHP treatment could be effective for improving the uh, product. So you can see that uh, AHP treatment at lower temperature, one of the carry can suppress rain coating of titanium. So the results of the test for the low temperature sheets are shown in this, so, uh, shown in this slide, uh, indicated by green plot. Uh, you can see that the uh, low, uh, low temperature uh, sheets show higher fatigue limit compared to the nitrogen uh, sheets at 117 degrees. And uh, this fatigue limit are almost the same as the amplitude test. So, uh, AIHTPV treatment at lower temperature is effective for suppressing the degrees of fatigue limit of titanium. However, uh, the fatigue lag uh, was still <coughs> decreased by AIHTPV treatment at lower temperature. So, in future work, uh, we will examine the effect of AIH treatment at the clock insertion and the system of uh, propagation of titanium. Finally, I will conclude my results. The AIH treatment in nitrogen dust atmosphere can form a nitrogen layer with a short time. But uh, this treatment uh, reduces the fatigue limit of the six of the If preventing the grain coating at the uh, FB treatment at uh, lower temperatures, the fatigue limit does not decrease. Uh, thank you very much for your kind attention.